will say over and over again, we're going to hate each other on Thanksgiving. We're going to have this deep passion against each other and want to beat each other and want to win a game. Town rivalries that can be broken down because there's friendships involved. So I beg you, all of you, to take 30 seconds throughout your day, check in on a teammate, check in on a rival. I believe that you're way stronger for having played football for all that it teaches you. I promise, I promise to reach out, to reach out check, in, check in, and make contact. And make contact. Breath work is one of the most powerful tools that you have in your arsenal that you can use and call on at any time. Hold for four seconds. One, two, three, four. Release for four seconds slowly. One, two, three, four and wait for four seconds and then repeat the process. Two sharp inhales and an audible sigh. Get real comfortable with me. Here we go. If you practice this, if you slow it down, you will feel your body start to calm down immediately. Eli Manning here. Hey guys, Troy Aikman here. This is Dan Orlovsky. I'm not gonna do my video with the t-shirt like Aikman, way more muscles than I do. Steve Young here, grew up in Greenwich, Connecticut. I think we used to beat Darian and McCain pretty well. Can't remember. Hello everyone, this is Justin Tuck and I just want to take time and say I commend both towns, the Darian Blue Wave and the New Canaan Rams for putting aside 100 years of a fierce football rivalry to talk about something that I find very important, mental health. There's no such thing as bad emotions. You can be sad, you can be frustrated, you can be angry, you can be depressed, that's okay. What you can't do is you can't act on some of those emotions in inappropriate ways. You have to learn how to harness those emotions and part of them is expressing them to other people. Before and after the game, I hope you rise above the prior generations and learn to respect and even have gratitude that you have an opponent on the field to push you to be better. We are stronger together than we are separate. And we need all of us in this great effort to improve the mental health outcomes of our communities. I want to end with a phrase I have always loved and one that we have all heard. It takes a village. And in this case, it takes two. Thank you.